Ever since the World Athletics announced a rule to keep women with higher testosterone levels in check, Castor Semina wasn't able to compete due to her refusal to take medications. But the World Championships marked her return, and everyone was curious to see how she'd do. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Castor Semina's return, so stay tuned. First off, Olympic gold medalist Castor Semina to make long-awaited return to the track. Castor Semina has been out of the picture for quite some time now. Still, it seems like the athlete has finally decided to make her long-awaited return by competing in the World Athletics Championships that just took place in Oregon. While Samina is rather a controversial figure, she has several supporters who were naturally happy to see the star make a return to the big stage. Unfortunately, though, the two-time Olympic champion has been banned from taking part in her favored 800-meter race, a decision that could be argued as unfair, especially since she excelled in it. In 2017, when she last appeared in athletics, she took home her third World World title in the 800 meter, but there was nothing that could be done, and she realized that. Turning to the 5,000 meter race listed on Friday, people seemed a bit surprised to see her there, as she didn't qualify for the race. Not to mention, she wasn't even included in the South African team that took part in the World Championship. NBC made sure to answer everyone's questions to avoid misunderstanding, saying that Samina had moved up because high ranking players who qualified had declined to participate in the championship. When this news appeared, neither Samina's representatives nor South South Africa's Track Federation immediately confirmed it. Fortunately, it happened eventually, and fans got to see Samina in action once again. Secondly, Castor Samina left unable to compete after World Athletics rule change in 2019. The 800 meter race isn't the only one Samina can't compete in. Despite having Olympic gold medals over two laps, she has been banned from participating in all races ranging from 400 meters to a mile. This rule was made in 2019 and stated that all women with a specific interest sex condition, known as 46XY, difference in sex development, couldn't run in these races. Of course, this rule is unfair and frustrating to those with the condition, which is natural. Samina didn't take this lying down and immediately pursued legal rights. The athlete wasn't successful the two times she went to court. Despite giving her best, her appeal against the regulation was declined. But if there's one thing known about her, it's that she's persistent. Samina has already pursued a third appeal at the European Court of Human Rights. Sadly, it seems like the situation isn't changing for the better anytime soon. Authorities are already considering the regulations for the worse, with rumors saying that they will go as far as banning women with 46XY DSD and high natural testosterone from all major events falling in the female category. Next up, Samina frustrated over constant gender verification tests. It's natural to be frustrated over such a blatant discrimination, and Samina revealed what she was going through to the public. During an HBO documentary, she even said that due to her condition, she was made to go through several gender verification tests, which even included physical examinations. It was hard on someone like her who was born as a girl, raised as one, and had no intentions of identifying as another gender. The result of the tests showed that she had hyperandrogenism, which is characterized as a naturally high testosterone level. This meant that if Samina wanted to pursue her dream any further, she would be forced to take medication meant for suppressing hormones, which had a number of damaging side effects. Being no exception to the rules, Samina's said she got sick often and gained weight as a result, not to mention panic attacks. Several times she feared she was going to have a heart attack, but in the end, the athlete was passionate about what she was aiming for. Being 18 and dreaming about the Olympics, she decided to push through. While Samina has never actually identified herself as intersex or confirmed having 46 XYDSD condition, she has publicly acknowledged having above average testosterone levels. And even with being unable to run in particular events such as the 800 meter, she has, till now, refused to follow the DSD rules, stating the compulsory treatment to suppress hormones below a certain level. Finally, Samina not dragged down after loss in 5,000 meters. It can't be denied that she was trying her best, but Samina's first appearance since 2017 didn't go the way everyone had hoped. She finished the 5,000 meter in 15 minutes, 47.12 seconds, about a whole minute behind the winner. Still, the runner didn't seem too disappointed at getting 13th place out of 16 runners. Despite everything, it it seems like she won't be participating in the 5,000 meter finals, being 45 seconds off from qualification. And while fans would have preferred to see her more in action, Samina herself didn't seem too disappointed in the results. She was upbeat even after the event had just finished, telling reporters about how hot it was and how she couldn't keep up with the others. Rather than taking the experience negatively, she just viewed it as her still having room for improvement. She also mentioned that she was pleased to be able to run here and that being able to compete at the 5,000 meter was a blessing in 
itself. While it seems like her future is a bit unsure from here, we can see from her attitude that she's ready to keep going, no matter her obstacles. Now in other news, a thing Mo ensures America's lead in the 800-meter event. The USA remained in the hunt for the first 1-2-3 in the women's 800-meter in the World Championships. Led by Olympic champion a thing Mo, America's been having clean sweeps lately. Raven Rogers, Anise Wilson, and a thing Mo looked good, while Britain's Tokyo silver medalist, Keely Hodgkinson, and Kenya's Mary Mora, who are the only other athletes who've gone under 1.58 this season, also went through on a warm, humid night. 20-year-old Mo has done incredibly in her first season, although her best time is two seconds down from her personal record, which is 1 minute 55 seconds. Set on the same field track about one year ago, she says that her focus coming in was to remain consistent. She also said that her main goal is to get the goal because they're on American land, and who deserves more gold? The athlete finished by saying that whether she'll go to the front or stick to the back will depend on how she's feeling. It was a sudden surge that let Rogers take her place, while Wilson seemed more steadfast and assured. The former has a world silver and Olympic bronze, while the latter came third in the last two world championships, so they're nothing to scoff at. Moving on, Lightning Lyles manages a second sweep at the world championships. Noah Lyles kept his 200-meter title with 19.31 seconds time at the world championships after a magnificent performance on Thursday. He became the third fastest athlete of all time over the distance and led a second American sprint podium sweep. Really, he showed everyone why he was lightning Lyles. Lyles, a Tokyo bronze medalist, took the lead after the halfway point and shot through the finish line. His competitor, Kenny Bednarik, and 18-year-old Arian Knighton took the silver and bronze medals. Lyles wasn't satisfied with his previous performances and described the race on Thursday as the start of his life. He said that he told Knighton and Kenny that he was glad they had finished right behind him because they put the fear of God into his start. He also mentioned he was sure he'd win when he couldn't see Knighton behind him off the turn. The athlete went on to say that he felt like he was racing himself, which was his goal, but he was ready in case anyone tried to pull up on him after his win. Lyles was so excited, he ripped open his shirt as his home crowd in Oregon cheered for him. He even hugged his rival, Knighton. Finally, Sharika Jackson wins for Jamaica with second fastest time in the world. We already know that Jamaica has yet another formidable female sprinter, but Sharika showed exactly how good she is at this year's World Championships 200-meter event. The final saw several Jamaican fans screaming their hearts out as Jackson crossed the line to become the country's fifth 200-meter champion. And she didn't just win. She clocked in at 21.45 seconds, which happens to be the second fastest time ever recorded. It looks like everyone at Hayward Field knew there was something different in the air as Sharika let out a yell and hugged her teammate amid ear-splitting screams. She's the only female to finish under the 2150 mark, other than record holder Florence Griffith Joyner, who did it in just 21.34 seconds. And while Jamaica wasn't able to get a sweep like in the 100-meter event, Shelly Ann Fraser-Price still got silver, and Elaine thompson Hurrah finished seventh. Britain's Dinah Asher-Smith took bronze. And that's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Castor Semina's return? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.